Hello explorers and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk about HTMLX. Which is a JavaScript library which is only 15 kilobytes in size but very powerful. There is a lot of functionality here and we're gonna jump right into it. So I will switch over to my screen here. So this is my little site. It's just a note site where I can put in some notes. So when, what you need to do when you're working with this is create an API, write some HTML and then profit. And this HTML, uh, as any of these kind of notes uh, taking apps, you can create new notes, you can edit some uh, values here, you can delete the note, and if you reload, you have the same information here. So I think this works pretty well. And if we switch over to my JSON file here, you can see that it's updating directly into this JSON file. And the cool part is that we only have this JavaScript library, which is just one JSON file minified and HTML. So let's go into my HTML document here. So we have some heading here and we have some styling. Let's skip the styling. In the bottom here, we will add this HTMLX org. So this will download this minified version. You could download it and put it on disk as one uh, thing that you just include in your data here. And then I have a div up here, the card list, and it has an hx get, so it will get some data from this uh, endpoint here, just note PHP, and it will trigger after 100 milliseconds. So on load, delay 100 milliseconds, and it will swap the inner HTML of this div. So what it actually does is when we load this, it will take 100 milliseconds and we fill out this div here with these cards. And what we get for back from this notes API is HTML. So no JSON or anything. You just write all the HTML and code and so on that you want to return back in your server end, and then it will return back and display it over here. So what we have next here is the bottom row where we have this new, and in here we have an HX post for adding new notes. And we go to my post uh, notes PHP and the target is this card list and we also want to swap the inner HTML. So that's everything that I put into my file here, my HTML file, except for the styling. So let's go into the notes API here and we can look at each of these separately. So let's start with the function down here. So first off, I take this JSON file that I have over here, I get it in as JSON, decode the JSON and put that into a notes uh, array. And then when I am done with my request here, I will put that JSON file back into, uh, the, or the J notes back into this JSON file. So nothing strange there. The printing of cards is pretty much taking these global notes, going through them each and writing out these cards. So a card is a div with a text area and a button. And the text area, I have some calls and rows here. It has a name. And then I have this hx po put on uh, notes, PHP with an ID. And then I will trigger that on key up when it's changed. And I will throttle it by one second. You can say delay here as well if you want, but a throttle is pretty much you read in the changes and keys up and so on. And then when you haven't seen anything for a second, then send a request. Uh, so delay, it's just delay the actual sending by a second. So it's a little bit difference there. And then we have this button, the delete button, HX delete uh, on notes with an ID. And then I have a target for the card list and then HA swap this inner HTML. And I didn't have a target up here if I don't want to change the layout up when I'm actually typing something. I don't really need that. I just need to store the result. So let's go up to the different function up here. First off, we have the get. And the get is pretty much print the cards. Nothing strange there. 
if we post and create a new card, yeah, well, let's array post, uh, push into these nodes a new node, which is just the text, and then print the cards. Nothing strange there. And then we have the delete method. Well, then we will unset one of these IDs that made it into a class or an object. I didn't want that. So I just created a new array, went through all of these nodes and pushed them back into the new array and then um, change that up and then print the cards. There might be a better way to do this, but really this API is not what I'm showing off here. It's the actual functionality of H. Uh, TML X and then we have the put function pretty much take the post data from my post so it will send it as form data so I need to take that post data and then I will explode that because I know that I only have one value otherwise I will explode on the um, divider here with the uh, at sign and then the explode again on the equal sign because it, it's only one. I will just explode a equal sign, get a value back. These values are URL encoded. So I need to URL decode them before I put them into the JSON. And then I just put it into the text with the right request ID. So there's not much to this API. Of course, you need this header up here to say that the access control allow origin is star so you don't have any course issues uh, or you could put your domain here of course uh, but that is just for security so this is pretty much all that i needed to show you in order to use html x there is a bunch of other functionalities to uh, load save store data and do a lot of different ixy things uh, but these are the main cool things I think that you could do with this and I feel that if you have a good API in the back end that could give you HTML in some cases and then you send some data to it as forms then you are very could very easily change out and remove your old JavaScript code or even react code and so on and just replace it with this very small handy little API. And if you just want to write something f fast, you already have an API as the backend, then this is a very way, good way of doing that. So I f found this today. I thought it was really cool and I wanted to try it out. I wrote this in about an hour. So I think it's a very simple way of getting up and running with a new site. So what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section down below with your thoughts about this uh, JavaScript library. Will you use it in your daily work or in your or in your hobby project? Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, share it with your friends and colleagues. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And I really hope to see you in the next video.